Okay, so, in Mario's 38 years of existence, he's done just about everything. He's drove all around the world, taught us how to do art, he's gone missing, and he's taken part in many parties. Now, the Mario games that don't have anything to do with Mario having to save Peach are known as Mario spin-off games. The Nintendo Switch already has quite a few Mario spin-off games, but seeing as Nintendo are going to be supporting the system for at least 3 or 4 more years, more Mario spin-off games are definitely gonna release. And so in this video, I am going to be talking about a Mario spin-off game that the Nintendo Switch needs. Alright, so the GameCube, in my opinion, has the best library of games out of any Nintendo system. Nintendo just made so many amazing games for this system. There's Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Mario Superstar Baseball. Now, Mario Superstar Baseball released in July of 2005, and it was a fairly simple yet extremely fun game. I mean, it was baseball with Mario characters. What was there not to love? All you had to do was pick your character and your team, then you were off to play some fast-paced baseball. Unlike all the baseball games that are pumped out every single year now, Nowadays, Mario Superstar Baseball actually had personality and charm. The game was positively received at launch, however only a little over 1 million copies of the game were sold. The low amount of sales were probably due to the GameCube being on its way out and that the GameCube just didn't sell that well either. But sales aside, the game was really fun and people loved it. In June of 2008, three years after Mario Superstar Baseball was released, Super Mario Sluggers released on the Wii, and while the game wasn't a direct sequel to Mario Superstar Baseball, it was another Mario Baseball game, so it was basically a sequel to Mario Superstar Baseball. The core gameplay of Super Mario Sluggers was similar to its predecessor, as I mean you can't just change baseball. However, there were a few changes, with the biggest of those being the inclusion of motion controls. Instead of just clicking a button to swing your bat, you actually had to swing your Wiimote. Super Mario Sluggers sold over 2 million copies, which wasn't too good, seeing as how popular the Wii was. And while the game was liked, it wasn't loved nearly as much as Mario Superstar Baseball. So seeing as both Mario Baseball games were liked by fans and that the Nintendo Switch only has free Mario sports games, I think it would be foolish for Nintendo not to make a new Mario Baseball game for the Switch. Seeing as the Nintendo Switch is incredibly popular, Nintendo wouldn't have to worry at all about a Mario Baseball game not selling well, as there is a huge audience of potential players. Also, making a game in which the most iconic video game character ever plays the 8th most popular sport in the world is just free money. There's also generations of players that have never played a Mario Baseball game. And so what better way to introduce the players to the series with a game on the Switch? Co-op play would work extremely well with a Mario Baseball game on the Switch, as you'd be able to just quickly hand someone a Joy-Con and play some baseball. It would be so easy. Plus, motion controls would work much better on the Switch than they did on the Wii. It's like the Switch was made for a Mario Baseball game. It just makes sense for Nintendo to make a Mario Baseball game for the Switch. But I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo were to release another Mario Golf and Tennis game next year. The Nintendo, I ask that you please stop making Mario Golf games, I'm begging you, they fucking suck, please. Now that I've spoken about why Nintendo should release a Mario Baseball game on the Switch, I want to talk a little about what I would want to see in a Mario Baseball game on the Switch. I'd love for the game to have a stupid amount of captains, team players, and stadiums. All of the characters and stadiums that appeared in the first two Mario Baseball games would return, and there would be a bunch of new stadiums and characters. Some new characters that I would love to see are Cappy, Piranha Plant, Pauline, Rosalina, Luma and King bob -omb, to name a few. Some new stadiums that I'd love to see are a Metro Kingdom Stadium, a Delfino Island Stadium, and a bob -omb Battlefield Stadium. Online play would be amazing to have in a Mario Baseball game on the Switch. Being able to play against or with your friends online would be incredibly fun, and maybe there could even be a ranked mode for the players that want to take the game a bit more seriously. While motion controls were pretty cool in Super Mario Sluggers, being forced to use motion controls wasn't the right way for Nintendo to include them. So in a Mario Baseball game on the Switch, Switch, motion controls should be in the game, but players should have the choice to play with button controls as well. So that's why I think a Mario Baseball game should release on the Switch, but let me know in the comments what Mario spin-off game you would like to see on the Switch. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content, and thank you for watching.